Hi, Seth Richards here in the south of Spain. I'm in Ronda riding this beautiful new 2020 V-Strom 1050 on a beautiful day in Spain. Life could be worse. And this could be worse. I've really enjoyed this motorcycle today. Uh, obviously new for 2020 is uh, this beautiful styling. And I wanted to see if the uh, other updates could match the looks of this bike. I think it's quite striking. Obviously looks are a little subjective, but I thought the last model was a little humdrum compared to this, which is looks really good. In spite of the name, it is still the same 1037cc V-twin engine, but they have updated the camshafts, the pistons, and new electronic throttle bodies. So the result of that is uh, a little bit more horsepower, around six for a claimed 106 horsepower and around 74 pound-feet of torque. Uh, and they accomplished that by updating the camshaft, uh, so the valve timing is a little bit different. It's a, a less overlap with higher lift cams, and the result is, uh, has been great so far with my uh, ride in Spain today. The big news on this XT model is the uh, inclusion for the first time of an IMU. Um, and so uh, it's a six axis IMU, there's ride by wire, uh, new ECU. Um, so with this version, you get cruise control, hill hold control, and of course, uh, you know, a great rider suite that includes traction control, drive modes, uh, even uh, some load dependent controls to help with cornering ABS. So it doesn't have ride modes as such, but you can control cornering ABS. It's uh, two levels of uh, intervention. Uh, there's uh, three levels of traction control and off, uh, and the three drive modes. So the drive modes are basically, it's all full power. It's just uh, different throttle responses. So far I've found that sort of middle throttle response, the B mode, is just the uh, happy medium for the kind of riding we've been doing on these uh, twisty roads. In terms of uh, suspension and chassis, it, there haven't been too many changes, a little bit of uh, different spring rates. We've done pretty mild gravel and stuff today, and uh, while it was a little bit harsh, it did a nice job in general. Uh, handling in general is really neutral, um, positive feedback. It's just an easy, confidence-inspiring bike to ride. And you can tell it still just has that Suzuki DNA of sportiness. And so when I'm riding through these mountain passes, I'm not really thinking about, oh, I'm on a big, you know, 500 plus pound adventure bike. I'm on a sport bike and I love the wide bars and it's just been a, a really great bike. Um, so I'm very, very surprised by how confident it's been. And the ergos are really lovely. Uh, it's comfortable. You know, obviously we haven't spent hours and hours in the saddle, but so far it's been comfortable. On this XT model, we have an adjustable windscreen. There's a latch up front and then you can uh, raise it. I think it's somewhere in the neighborhood of 50 millimeters or something like that. New LCD dash. There are three trim levels. The base model, MSRP is 13,399. The XT, which I've been riding today, is uh, 14,799. And the XT Adventure is 16,999. So the XT has the cruise control, the new IMU, hand guards, crash bars, and moving up to the XT Adventure, you get panniers, aluminum panniers in the US, and heated grips. Availability is in March in your local dealer, and you've got to go take a look at it. I know there's so many new ADV bikes, and the V-Strom is kind of in this dour in the market, but I really think Suzuki did a nice job of bringing some modern technology, um, and I, it, it stays in the game. It's always kind of been this underdog, and it, it just punches above its weight. Everyone loves a V-Strom, and now there's more to love. Go check it out.